Viewers, join us as we take a look into the life of Al Roker, a legendary person whose name is known to millions of people worldwide. There is a story of accomplishment, perseverance, and success behind the fascinating television presence and early weather predictions. We peel back the layers of a fascinating individual who has influenced journalism and will serve as an inspiration to future generations. You are now welcome to explore. In the history of American broadcasting, Al Roker the charming face of weather forecasting morning television has left his mark. With a $70 million net worth, Roker's rise is evidence of his versatile skill set and ongoing popularity with viewers throughout the country. Al Roker is best recognized for his charming weatherman persona on NBC's The Today Show, but his impact goes well beyond forecasts. In addition to his meteorological duties, he takes on the role of co-host on Third Hour Today, lending his warmth and charm to the early morning broadcasts. Notably, he oversaw Wake Up With Al, a morning program on the Weather Channel, from 2009 to 2015, which cemented his standing in the field of broadcast journalism. With an impressive NBC compensation of $10 million annually, Roker's financial achievement is commensurate with his professional accomplishments. His most recent contract, a strong five-year, $50 million agreement, highlights his crucial role on the Weather Channel and the Today Show. In addition, Roker's inventive Rokerthon events have not only captured the attention of audiences but also earned him several Guinness World Records, highlighting his proclivity for shattering stereotypes in the media. In 2018, the Today Plaza was ceremoniously renamed Rockefeller Plaza as a fitting homage to his four decades of service with NBC and a reflection of his lasting influence on morning television. Beyond the small screen, Roker's venture into the stage was well received by both reviewers and fans for his performances in the popular Broadway musical Waitress in 2018 and 2019. On August 20, 1954, Albert Lincoln Roker Jr. known to millions as Al Roker was born in Queens, New York, into a modest family. Al was brought up in a close-knit Catholic family by his parents, Isabel and Albert Sr., a dedicated bus driver, as well as his five younger siblings. As a member of the cartooning and drawing club at Manhattan's Xavier High School, Al displayed his creative side during his early years, giving a glimpse of the artistic abilities that would later enhance his profession. Al continued his education after high school, earning a Bachelor of Arts in Communications from the State University of New York at Oswego in 1976. This was the first big step toward his success in radio. Al Roker's enthusiasm for meteorology and television was unwavering even during his time in college. He assumed the position of weather anchor for the CBS affiliate when TV in Syracuse, demonstrating his early skill in providing local viewers with weather forecasts. This early experience prepared him for his eventual spectacular climb in television journalism and created the foundation for his future pursuits in that field. After graduating from college, Roker entered the exciting field of television meteorology, which was the start of a career that would see him become well-known both locally and nationally. His first big move was to Washington, D.C., where he started working as a weather reporter at the independent station WTTG. There, he honed his craft and set the foundation for his future endeavors. When NBC saw how good Roker was in 1978, they moved him to WKYC in Cleveland, where he started working for the network. Roker's popularity grew over the next few years as he proved his meteorological expertise and captivating on-screen persona. He was promoted and made his victorious comeback to New York City in only five years. After taking over as WNBC-TV's weekend weathercaster, he quickly advanced to become the highly sought-after weeknight weathercaster. He succeeded Dr. Frank Field, who had been a mainstay of the network for almost 30 years, in this capacity. Roker's charismatic demeanor and adaptability were seen on several NBC platforms. From his spectacular replacements of respected figures like Brian Gumbel, Willard Scott, and Matt Lauer on the Today program, to his work at NBC News at Sunrise, Roker's name became associated with morning television. Roker became even more well-known in the world of television journalism when he was given the chance to host his weekend talk program, The Al Roker Program, on CNBC in 1995, because of his charm and knowledge. 
His famous performances on Late Night with David Letterman demonstrated how his affable personality and innate connection with viewers extended beyond the morning television format. After appearing on Letterman's show, Roker was invited to serve as the forecaster for Weekend Today, the weekend version of the Today Show, for three years, which elevated his career to new heights. His smooth transition to the Today Show's regular weekday weatherman position in January 1996 solidified his reputation as a cherished morning television mainstay. Al Roker's lasting popularity throughout his career may be ascribed to his amiable disposition, sincere warmth, and sincere connection with his audience. As the presenter of Today's Take, the third hour of the Today Show, Roker began a new chapter in November 2012. But the morning TV scene is always changing, and Megyn Kelly today took over from today in September 2017. However, in keeping with his unwavering character, Roker took back his position as co-host of Third Hour Today in 2018 following the collapse of Megyn Kelly today. However, Roker's influence goes well beyond the early morning television hours. His revolutionary Rokerthon events, which enthralled audiences and broke records, cemented his place in history. After starting an unparalleled 34-hour weather reporting marathon in 2014, Roker's coverage was constant. The next year saw an even more audacious undertaking as Roker traveled across every state in the U.S. and Washington, D.C. in only seven days for Rokerthon 2, setting many Guinness World Records and cementing his place as a pioneer in the field of broadcast journalism. In 2017, Roker's inventive nature emerged once more during Rokerthon 3, an adventure that took him to universities all across the country and saw him break a variety of Guinness World Records in the process. He has received recognition and praise from audiences all around the world for his unwavering commitment to stretching the boundaries of traditional reporting. Roker's influence extends beyond the worlds of meteorology and morning television to a variety of venues and genres. From his yearly role as presenter of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade to his memorable performances on game series such as Celebrity Family Feud and Remember This? Roker is quite versatile. His love of food and travel is evident in his culinary exploits on Food Network programs like Tricked Out Tailgating and Roker on the Road. Roker's lasting influence on the entertainment business also extends to the silver screen, where he has starred in several comic and cameo parts in films and television series. Roker's influence is evident in his presence is all about us thanks to his more than 34 appearances on Late Night with Conan O'Brien in his wide range of roles in iconic television shows like Sharknado, Zombieland, Double Tap, and 30 Rock. In the always changing world of television and entertainment, Al Roker remains a light of inventiveness, determination, and unrelenting devotion as he inspires and entertains audiences with his contagious energy and limitless charm. Beyond the screen, Roker's generosity is seen in his work with several humanitarian organizations, demonstrating his philanthropic nature. He has devoted his time and money to several organizations for over 10 years, reported to have given $10 million to charity causes. Roker has been an official Ronald McDonald House Charities spokesperson since 2007. Being a member of the exclusive Friends of RMHC Celebrity Board. This association highlights his dedication to helping low-income families during difficult times. His commitment to RMHC is only a small part of his larger charitable activities. Using his platform to generate money and awareness for deserving organizations, Roker contributed his presenting skills to the Celebrity Family Feud charity television program in 2008. This incident is a prime example of his proactive strategy for changing the world. The Amber Watch Foundation, Champions for Children, American Foundation for AIDS Research, Flawless Foundation, Friends of Scotland, Hudson River Park Friends, New York Restoration Project, Paralyzed Veterans of America, Souls for Souls, and the Wounded Warrior Project are just a few of the many charitable organizations that Roker philanthropically supports annually. He addresses a wide range of social problems through his engagement with these groups, from environmental protection and veteran care to health and education. Beyond only monetary gifts, Roker's charitable activities reflect a strong dedication to bettering the lives of others. 
His participation serves as a powerful example of the transformational potential of empathy and group effort, encouraging others to support causes that align with their moral principles. Personal life, he was married to Alice Bell, a producer at WNBC, in 1984. They welcomed a daughter called Courtney into their family throughout the ten years of their marriage, who provided them with much delight. But in 1994, their adventure together came to an end. When Roker met journalist Deborah Roberts in 1990 when they were both employed by NBC, his career took a very different route. They were married in 1995 as a result of their chemistry. They became a close-knit family after welcoming son Nicholas in 2002 and daughter Layla in 1998. Roker has experienced several health difficulties in his lifetime. To address his weight issues, he had gastric bypass surgery in 2002 and underwent knee replacement procedures in 2001 and 2006. A hip replacement in 2019, an emergency carpal tunnel surgery in 2018, and back surgery in 2005 were further health challenges. Notwithstanding these challenges, Roker's fortitude was evident. His health issues remained, though. Roker was given the diagnosis of prostate cancer in September 2020. He took the problem head-on and had a successful operation in November of the same year, despite his disbelief. Many have been impressed by his bravery and candor with his health issues. Regretfully, there have been bumps in the road to recovery. Roker experienced yet another medical emergency in November 2022 when he needed surgery to treat internal bleeding and was admitted to the hospital due to blood clots. We hope that Al Roker will overcome all of his health issues and have a happy life in the next chapters of his life. We appreciate you viewing the whole video. Post your thoughts in the space provided below. We hope this video has been useful to you. Remember to subscribe to the channel, share, and give a like if you enjoy the content. I appreciate your viewing, and I hope to see you in the upcoming videos.